morning. It's Sunday. It's about 7.30. All my kids are up. Breakfast, playing, cartoons. That's kind of what we do when we wake up in the morning on the weekends. And it's Sunday, so normally we would go to church. My son is so loud right now. Um, normally we go to church on a Sunday, but I don't think you can tell how windy it is, but we have like 30 mile an hour winds right now. We're kind of in a blizzard warning, and I decided we're just gonna maybe read some Bible stories this morning and stay home. And then I'm gonna have a really productive day. I've already decided that. I think that I'm gonna do a bunch of meal prep and get a bunch of, I'm gonna make a bunch of breakfast. I have chicken I wanna cook. That's for sure what I'm gonna do. For breakfast I wanna make a bunch of kinds of muffins. French toast sticks, um, pancakes, breakfast burritos, all stuff I can stick in my freezer. And then I also bought a ton of meat and chicken at the grocery store yesterday. So I want to cook some of that chicken and put it in the freezer so I have already cooked chicken. And then I want to take the other ones and um, just divide them out into like big Ziploc bags. If that makes sense. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm going to take you guys along with me. There's my noise maker. There is so much nastiness going around right now. So I am actually going to start out my day with giving my kids some of this. I'm going to mix it with this fruit water from Aldi. And then I'll just kind of divide it out between everybody. cooking. I don't know the proper way to open these tubes. I just dive into it with a knife. Alright, I'm just going to cook this over medium heat and just kind of break it up as I cook it. Brielle is going to help me out by cracking the eggs for me while I make the sausage. some seasoning salt and some pepper and milk my milk is in a pitcher because yesterday I accidentally dropped the whole gallon on the ground so I saved what I could and Kova's playing with these broken eggshells is that fun yeah they're in eating cheese I check my eggs are almost done cooking I'm just gonna add my breakfast sausage right in there and finish cooking it So we got 20 breakfast burritos prepped. You want to make sure that these are pretty well cooled off before you go ahead and wrap them up. All 
right, and then when you're ready to eat these, what I usually do is try taking them out the night before and put them in my fridge so they kind of unthaw the day before or whatever. And then I just take them out, I take them out of the saran wrap and I wrap them in a paper towel and pop them in the microwave for like 30 seconds. And they're like basically perfect. So this is what they look like and then I'm just gonna put them all in an ice cream bucket and I have a ton of breakfast ready to go. Right, so here's what I got going in my freezer. This is full of breakfast burritos. And I just reused this bag and that's, this is full of breakfast burritos too. All going in my freezer. All right, next up, I'm gonna make French toast sticks, which is actually best done with stale bread because then your uh, to French toast sticks are like more stiff instead of like floppy. So I'm using this Texas toast, which is actually not stale. So I'm going to cut it right now and then I'm just gonna like leave it on the counter and then later today, when it's gotten a little stale, I'm going to make the French toast sticks. is chicken. I went to my local grocery store yesterday and I got a bunch of chicken for $2.19 a pound, which isn't the best deal, but it's pretty good for this good chicken that I get at our grocery store. It doesn't have much fat or anything on it. So I'm going to trim a bunch of these and put them in some freezer bags. And then I'm also going to cook some chicken. So I have just like chicken ready to go in my freezer for whenever I need it for a meal. garlic salt from Aldi on our chicken. So I'm just gonna season it with that and call it good. Olive oil. I hear a siren outside. My baby's getting tired, so I kind of have to wrap up what I'm doing in the kitchen right now, because while he naps, I really need to go grocery shopping. So, I'll show you kind of what I have going on here. I'm gonna have to come back to it, but I am basically taking kind of the tops of the chicken breast, like the premium part, and I'm putting them into gallon Ziplocs for when we're just like having chicken as a side, or as like the main course. And then chicken that I have in recipes, I am cooking, I'm, I'm going to dice up. So that's kind of what I got going on here. Oh, uh, I wish that I did not have to go get groceries today, but I do. Whew, it is so cold. I'm back from grocery shopping. I do not recommend going outside in a blizzard. It's really, really cold outside. My hands are like numb. Brr, but I had to carry groceries in, so here's everything I got. Oh, a lot of groceries. It is 12.34 and I feel like I've been really productive today. I got breakfast burritos done. I did grocery shopping. And then I came home and finished the chicken. I have it right here. What's left to dice up and put into my freezer bag. So I need to finish that up. And then my kitchen has gotten really, really messy. <laughs> between um, lunch and I had cleaned out some stuff out of my fridge when I was putting away groceries and just all this meal prep stuff. So I'm gonna kind of finish cutting up this chicken and get that taken care of. And then I'm just gonna kind of do a reset and clean my whole kitchen so it's not so crazy in here. 
And my kids are just playing. They're just gonna have to have a day where they entertain themselves. And those days are okay too sometimes. Kisses? So I just finished prepping the, all the chicken. Here's what I ended up getting. I took some of them and put them in bays just with the raw chicken in. And these are like the premium cuts of um, the breast. So like it's good for like when we want chicken to be like our entree. Then I have five with just some diced chicken in. And then I have three bags of shredded chicken. So that feels really good. That's lots of meals that are ready to go there. So even though my kitchen's a really big mess right now, I wanted something going in my oven while I was cleaning in here. So I'm quick throwing together some banana chocolate chip muffins. And I'll show you kind of my recipe I use. I just turned my oven on to 375 and sprayed down my pan. I just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being like to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us So that's actually like perfect for French toast sticks. So 
then I'm going to just take the, I use my pie pan when I do this, and I'm going to put 10 eggs in here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're going to help me. Okay, just kidding. Brielle is going to come crack the eggs. All right, Brie. Here they are. You'll know they're done when they're like crispy, but yet really firm still. So they're done, and I am just going to transfer them to this wire cooling rack because they will get put in a gallon Ziploc to freeze, but they need to be completely cooled off first. The last of my French toast sticks are cooling off. They look so yummy. I have, they made about three gallon Ziplocs full. Once these ones are cooled off, I'll put it in here and then I'll put them all in the freezer. And when you're ready to eat these, um, you can microwave them and if you can put them in the broiler in the oven. We have um, an air fryer that is really, really handy to stick them in just so they kind of like crisp back up so that they're good for dipping because if you just stick them in the microwave, they'll be like soft and flimsy and it's nice to have them like stiff. So yeah, those are French toast sticks. All right, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some ideas of things you can do to prep ahead. I hear my daughter screaming. She's playing, I promise. <laughs> You're gonna hear her laughing now. Anyway, Kova. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, this is kind of something I do to save my family money too because like to buy that many French toast sticks in the store, I'm sure it'd be like quadruple what I just made them for. Well, what do you... Uh, don't mind my messy house. <laughs> my girls have seriously been playing so good together today. Makes me happy because not every day is like that. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a good day.